This is the tripod folded up as it comes out of the bag to unfold it. easily. A quarter twist of the knobs. ready to use at about six feet high. To collapse and refold the tripod, turn it upside down, twist the handles, gravity help you. Now push the legs in a little bit and then the clips can be pushed out and flip the leg around. Push the clip, flip the leg up. Push the clip. If you don't push the leg back a little bit, the clip won't open. And it is ready for store. The legs can be extended to a pretty drastic angle. Um, there are three stops. Uh, the first one was a pretty reasonable angle. The second one is pretty wide and the third is really extreme. You may want to use this in a stair or an area that's really not very level at all and that will help support things but you wouldn't want all three legs spread out like this. The quick release part of this tripod is head is probably the weakest part. The uh, knob loosens this clamp to the side and then the quick release comes straight out of the top. This really needs to be a slide in, slide out, a, a more secure connection. And the tripod head itself is really nice. Um, it has a bubble level and the rotation actually has some fluid action to it so that it turns very smoothly. The ball itself is a little coarse. It does have a little bit of a grab when you first start moving it. Once it starts moving it moves very easily and the knob to tighten it is really snug and will hold the hold the camera right where it belongs. The center post can be inverted. This is a little tricky. It's usually pretty tricky on most uh, tripods. Um, this is the first step in converting this to a monopod, if that's what you'd like to do. First step is to unscrew this very bottom piece here. That's actually the uh, counterweight holder. Um, you'll see that it's a fairly small piece and, and has a spring and some screws on it. Then you'll need to remove the rubber cap on the end, loosen the nut, Pull the tripod head out, the center post out, and then flip it over and basically reverse the process with putting the plug back in and then screwing the end cap on. And now the tripod can be used upside down. To convert this to a monopod, you first need to remove the screw at the bottom of the center post, the end cap, 
loosen this knob and pull the center post out. The second step is this is the only leg that has a screw or a thread on it. Unscrew this portion and this is the bottom leg. This is the leg that you'll use for the monopod, bottom of the monopod. Inside the carrying case is a really pretty velvet bag. Reminds me a lot of the Crown Royal velvet bags I used to use for my marbles. There is a small metal screw and nut that you need to put inside the bottom leg and then the top part screws into here and now you have a monopod. If you want the foam handle closer to where you're going to use the monopod and you want a slightly shorter monopod, they include a little tube that's a short tube that's pretty easy to put on. You unscrew this part of the leg, pop off this cap, put the cap on the short piece, install the threaded part, put this back on the head, or not on the head because you could use this with the regular tripod mount. And then you'll need to unscrew the long pipe and screw the two parts together here. <laughs> it's not easy to do. <laughs> not at all. So there you have a shorter monopod one that the foam handle is a lot closer and there is a nice fabric handle here to use. This is one of the nicest things about this tripod and that's the carrying case. It's a thickly padded, foam padded on the inside uh, case and tripods rarely come with a case this nice. Um, this will protect the tripod and all the extra parts that you have to put inside there. So now I'll return the tripod back from monopod to tripod and I'll have fun doing that. The head. The short bar. Remove this. Put this on the longer part. Thread this in and tighten it. Remove this nut. Put the big bar back. Side of the tripod, and now screw this back on. And the tripod is back to being a tripod. I'd buy a monopod, and I wouldn't try to convert this back and forth very much. That's a lot of little parts to deal with, and uh, it's certainly not a lot of fun to try to, first of all, figure out how to make the change, and then actually do it.